What's up internet? This is the kind of BS you gotta deal with when you're in LA. We're leaving the parking enforcement office. I helped my buddy Felix pay like $500 of fines on his car because he's gonna get started as a Lyft driver in exchange because he won't have to park on the street anymore. And this poor lady's getting towed right here while she's also trying to pay her fines. So I am running for mayor now. I'm just gonna start it here in a YouTube video. And I'm my, oh, my whole platform, for starters, is just parking reform. These meters, we're gonna get rid of some of these meters. We're gonna get rid of some red curb. And how's this? When you come out to your car and your meter has already hit zero, instead of getting a maximum fine, the meters are gonna go negative minutes. So negative one minute is a $1 fine. Negative two minutes, $2 fine. We're gonna fire some of the people that work for parking enforcement. They're not gonna get paid on commission. They're only gonna get paid an hourly wage. So they have less incentive to write tickets like crazy. And we're gonna fix parking in Los Angeles. How does that sound? So we're actually uh, getting, me and Felix are getting a ride right now to go back to his car so he can go do some Postmates and make some money. We're actually gonna get him, we're gonna get him on lift. We just saved this lady's day right here. So her car's not getting towed. She's moving her car. We, we, saved her, we saved her from getting towed because we care about people. These signs are crazy. We need to simplify this. I have solutions for this. The park enforcement system is out of control. They're not doing a good job because they're pissing off the citizens like crazy and we're the one that pay the taxes to keep the governor in office. My buddy was sleeping in his car the other night. He got arrested, they put cuffs on him and he spent a night in jail for sleeping in his car because he can't afford a place to live because the rents are going up because the government charges too much for the land. So the landlord's got to raise the rent on the, on the people and it's one thing after another. Here's our guy, here's our guy right here. So we're about to take a, a lift ride right now. So there she goes. She's probably thanking her lucky stars that we told her that to move her car. And uh, how you doing today, man? I'm good. Yeah, awesome. Five stars. So we're uh, riding in an Uber now. <laughs> I mean, this is just parking in LA is crazy. Like there's red curb everywhere. It doesn't need to be red curb right there. That could be a parking spot. That could be a parking spot. There's there's no fire hydrant. There's no need for the red curb. Here's a little secret. Did you know if it's a yellow curb in LA, you can park there in the evening when they're not doing the commercial shipping. I actually have it laid out here from the Department of Transportation. They ha they tell you you can park in the yellow zones at nighttime when they're not doing the uh, the loading and unloading. But white zones, you'll always get a ticket. But there's so much we can do. We can we can have the meters tick negative minutes, so you get a partial fine instead of a full fine. That's correct. When uh, uh, when uh, uh, you, you're right over by one minute, you're stuck in the elevator and you can't get back to your car on time. Right now, then they can't, they can't write you a maximum right? fine. It's a prorated fine, and, uh, and then it maxes out at like yeah, 30 bucks. I mean, this is crazy, and I can't believe Garcetti didn't fix this, Via Ragosa didn't fix this. Parking enforcement makes hundreds of millions of dollars every year. I'm uh, sure actually, not a lot of that goes back to the public. That goes yeah, into the pockets of the employees, the administration, to, uh, and whoever's in office at the time. They love that money. But um, vote for me, and I will fix this whole parking thing. We'll just take it one step at a time. We're going to start kicking people out of office that don't belong there. No, way too many parking there, officers. Man. I see some of these parking officers. I know some of them are good people. Some of them are running red lights and eating a sandwich while they're driving around. They're not they're, they're totally in violation of the law while they're trying to do their job. It's crazy. Anyhow, um, I'm gonna get off my horse, horse now. All right, guys. I think that's enough for now. I have a few other ideas. We there's a, too much red curb uh, by the nightclub district. So when you're going out at night, you can't park on the street because they want you to go into those commercial lots and pay 50 bucks for one night of parking to go to the nightclub. It's it's, it's around 20, 30 bucks right now, but by the time people are watching this video in 2019, 2020, yeah, I bet it'll be 50 bucks for overnight parking just to go to the club. But there's plenty of street parking, but they make it so you can't park there on Friday nights when the clubs is busy. And that doesn't make any sense because they're just basically forcing you to not have free parking that you should have a right to because you pay taxes in LA. So I'd undo a lot of this bullshit and uh, yeah, vote for me for mayor and we'll talk. That's all for now.